Have you figured out any Play Store metrics that are particularly important when it comes to uh, yeah, getting more downloads and having a higher ranking in the store itself? So for example, is the number of downloads important? Is it important that you have many keywords in your description? Are the ratings important to get higher in the list? Have you uh, uh, any insights on that? Yeah, um, so two things. So what you mentioned about keywords is definitely important. I don't know the specifics because I haven't updated my keywords for a very long time, but I know that it helps with the search because it works just like Google search, right? If somebody's searching for something, excuse me, if someone's searching for something and those words are not in your description or your title, then your app might not come up. So one thing that I find really useful is, let's say, you know, my app is called Read It To Me. If you go to the Play Store, it doesn't say read it to me. It says read it to me hyphen and then essentially a bunch of keywords in a sentence, hands-free, you know, reading aloud tool or something. Because um, then that way, if someone just searches for hands-free, it might show up in the results. But it, it means that they'll be able to find it, but no one's going to specifically search for the words read it to me unless they're exactly looking for my app. So that was one um, tip. But the other thing is everything else is about the ratings. Like... The ratings is everything. If you have zero ratings or good ratings, that's good. If you have less than four stars, then the likelihood that somebody's going to install your app like dramatically decreases. Um, and I think that's just because like what you said, you know, in the in the golden days, it was the only app that did this thing. And now there's so many of them. So why would I pick one that's got, you know, 3.5 stars when this, this other one that's got 4.5 stars? Um, so managing the ratings is probably the best thing that you can do to help retain your current users and to get new users. So the rating is mainly important for the psychology of the user stance. But yeah. do you think it's also important for how uh, how high the app ranks at the store in the first place? I, I would imagine so, yeah. I, and like, I don't know for a fact, but to me, it seems very logical that if you have two apps that do the same thing and one has zero stars and zero ratings and one has a hundred, you know, four star ratings, like which one does Google want you to see at the top of your search results or Apple want you to see? Because they also want you to have the best experience, right? They don't want you to install an app that has no ratings because they don't know if it's good. So uh, I feel like I don't know for sure, but I would imagine the better your ratings are, the higher you would rank. Yeah, I think these days... Um... It's not like in the past where you could trick Google's search engines to rank your app higher or or also your Google results if you have a website. I think these days the best you can do is just straightforward. Yeah. Try to build the best solution you can, get good ratings and yeah, build a good app basically. Yeah. I think that's the, the main search engine optimization you can do. It's not like in the in the nineties where you can just stuff a lot of keywords into your website or your app description. And you just yeah. Or I, I guess back then we didn't have these mobile apps yet, but there you could just put a a ton of keywords into your website and you can could trick the Google search engine this way. But it's not like this anymore today. Just do the best service you can, basically. This is why I also don't focus on. Uh, SEO when it comes to my YouTube videos, for example. Okay, I try to write a good title and description, but I don't do any tricks. I don't do any hacks and I don't lie in the description or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. Because yeah, you can't really trick Google anymore. No. And it and it affects it affects your rating when it goes wrong, right? Like if somebody yeah. keeps clicking on your video because they think it's one thing and then they only watch five seconds, then they're just gonna down rank your video and say it's not good for this topic and now you don't rank anywhere. So yeah, and they leave the video earlier and then they have a low watch time, which is the worst yeah, you can exactly. have, I think. But okay, one thing is important. That's the thumbnail when we talk about YouTube videos. Because this is the equivalent, I guess, of the rating of the app in the store. People just have to... Uh, it has to look attractive to people. Otherwise, they won't click it because they are still humans. 